sometimes as you do your sanitary or storm sewer design you may come across some challenges for example let's look at this let's look at this uh, profile in this profile view if you are to create a data band for the pipe network let's say you want to show the elevations at the inverts of these pipes so civil 3d shows us uh, that we can do so but it only gives us the inverts at the points of these manholes so let's create what civil 3d provides for us so i'll click on the profile view right click and go to profile view properties basically what i'm doing here is that i'm i'm building a new data band that will show us the pipe invert elevations so i change this to pipe data and here i can select from a range of styles invert elevations pipe data vim elevation standard structure stations based on what i want right now i want to display the invert elevations so we add that and you hit apply let's go and see how that looks like you see it shows us the elevations at the manholes so it's showing us the elevation at this point and this other point but you may want as an engineer to make it uh, more simpler for a contractor for example when you're providing them with drawings that you have uh, these pipe inverts at regular intervals such as 20 meter intervals or 10 meter intervals you may want to show what is the elevation at this point the invert elevation at this point so how can you do that um, it is pretty simple stick with me here to the end you will see uh, so what we will do we will go to the profile uh, command up here at the create design panel so we go to profile we go to profile creation tools when we click on profile creation tools we are prompted to select a profile view so I just select on this profile view and the profile name it will be it will be profile type so let's just call it pipe invert And then the profile style will be design profile. That's OK. I click OK. So here I'm presented with a toolbar for creating a profile, a design profile. I will select on tangents because, uh, because I don't want to see curves. So I, I start. I want to see, I want to get the, the intervals at 20 meter, the pipe inverts, I mean, at 20 meter intervals. So let me turn on object snap here. I snap on onto this first point here. I snap onto the that one there. Snap across the manhole. I snap the the start of this other invert. I snap there. I snap there. I snap there again. All the way to the end. So let's do this. Snap there. Snap there. Snap there. And then to this end. I click enter. So now we have a design profile of which we can create a data band that will show us uh, the invert levels of this pipe. So this uh, design profile corresponds with the inverts of the pipes. And therefore, it will be easy now to create a data band that shows us uh, the intervals or the invert levels at a 20 meter interval. So let's do that. We again click on the profile view. We right click to go to, to the profile view properties. And here we have several tabs. We want to access the bands tab where we can add information about the profile 
So here, instead of pipe data, I will use the profile data. And the kind of profile data I want is the elevations. So I click on elevations and station style, and then I add. I add it. So I don't want to show uh, elevations at these points. I only want to show the elevations at my intervals. So here, it's, it, it's adding other labels at vertical tangent, uh, at vertical curve tangent. All this I do not want to show. So to uncheck all this, I can just click on this blank to uncheck everything. And remember here, there are two tabs. There are two tabs. So here I will also uncheck. It can also give me elevations at points of alignment, change of uh, alignment uh, geometry. So I will uncheck again here. And then I click OK. And my data band is added down here. So here, what I want to show as my profile one, I want to show the pipe invert. And then here, it doesn't matter what I choose because when I'm creating or when I'm amending my style here, I will turn off the profile two visibility. So let's go and change this style. So before we do that, let's apply and see what has happened. So down here, you can see it's populated uh, with invert levels. But now it's showing us for pipe one. It's, sho it's showing us for pipe for the first elevations is, is showing us the this profile. And then the other elevation is showing us this elevation on this side. It's showing us the the, the the existing ground profile. It's giving us the elevation for the existing ground profile, which is here in red. So as you can see here, we do not have two elevations. But for this other side, we have two elevations. It's because on one, on this side, we have this design profile and we have this uh, existing ground elevation. But we only want to show this invert level and therefore we have to edit this this uh, display here or this style here so let's click there let's go to profile view properties again and here I will edit this I will copy the existing copy current selection and then here on the left I will compose label and call it pipe inverts I click OK and then on this other side I don't want to show the station so I change the visibility to false and also I don't want to show profile 2 so I change the visibility to false as well so we only want to show profile one, which shows the data for the invert levels. So I apply, and we click OK. Apply again here. OK, apply, and we click OK. Now we can see that this corresponds to what we are seeing up there. These are the inverts for these pipes. And it's showing us in the intervals that we wanted, showing us in 20 meter intervals. So if you want to get rid of these gaps, it's pretty simple. Click on the profile view properties. You delete these gaps. You just type in zero. Here you type in zero as well. And then you apply. You can see it changes. And then here, if you want your profile uh, title to be on the left you can also change this so your anchor point is the middle left 
and then the attachment is a little left as well you can see you apply you click OK you apply again and there you have it you can do that for the rest that's how you customize your your profile view so again if you don't want to see this design profile you can select it select the profile right click go to profile properties and here you can copy this design profile create new and then you call it uh, invisible that's the name and then you go to the display tab you turn off everything you apply click OK and here you apply and as you can see now you only see the pipe network and you also have the data for the pipe network but you and I know what you we've done so that we can have this data down here we've created a design profile and then we've assigned it an invisible uh, style and we have our data pretty well done down here and we have our data band well done so if you need any of these uh, models that we're creating you can email me on the comment section thank you for staying and do not forget to subscribe and to watch the other videos.